Should we be afraid of dogs? Well, no. Of course not. Dogs are awesome, and they are our best friends. But sometimes dogs are treated badly and can become difficult and even dangerous to people. If your angry dog is a chihuahua, then you probably have less to worry about. But there's some dogs that can be a real problem when sadly they are abused or trained to do the wrong thing by dumb people. We're going to take a look at some of the dog breeds you might want to be cautious of if you don't know them too well. From the most notorious dog in the world to the all-round powerhouse of a pooch, here's the 15 dogs you should fear the most. <sighs> Number 15. Black Pit Bulls a long time ago, blood sports were popular around the world, and this involved making animals fight to the death for fun. Sure you still want that time machine? Anyway, dog fights were very common, and so certain breeds were developed with the best fighting skills and strength. And there was no better fighting dog than the pit bull. These days, the fighting dogs have mainly been bred to have different personalities more suited to domestic life as guard dogs, or as working dogs. Dogs. But modern day pit bulls have a lineage back to the fighting dogs and sometimes people today make them fight illegally. It has long been said that black colored pit bulls are more aggressive than the white ones by their genetic nature. But this is often a generalization and not always true. Unfortunately, a few incidents which made it into the media have led to pit bulls being banned in many countries. In spite of the thousands of these dogs who live happy lives with their families, never causing any problems. That said, a pit bull is an extremely powerful and almost completely fearless dog. So if you were to upset one, it could be a rough time for you. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Rottweiler. The Rottweiler is a medium-large to large dog from Germany. These dogs are world famous for their powerful build and excellent abilities as guard dogs. Their traditional job in Germany was to herd livestock and then pull the butchered meat from the butchers to the market. Smart and strong, they are popular as police dogs, search and rescue dogs, and military dogs. In fact, Rottweilers are believed to be so awesome because they are descended from the dogs the Romans used in their army when they were fighting the Germans thousands of years ago, and we know the Romans got a lot of stuff right. This is how the Rottweiler's temperament is officially described. The Rottweiler is good-natured, placid in basic disposition, very devoted, obedient, biddable, and eager to work. His appearance is natural and rustic, his behavior self-assured, steady, and fearless. So this should be a great dog, but they are also the second highest cause of deaths from dog attack. Why? Because people train them badly, hoping to have a dog which will make them look badass, but they have no idea how to look after it. And it is a serious seriously powerful dog, so if it gets angry, better get out of there. Number 13. American Pit Bull Terrier the American Pit Bull Terrier is different to the regular terrier, but this term is also used to describe the American Staffordshire Terrier, both of which are based on the original British breeds. But they are quite different in a lot of ways to the dogs in their ancestry. They are some of the most misunderstood dogs because people read about attacks by any kind of dog that looks like a pit bull and assume it's a dangerous dog. However, the truth is that their excellent agility and strength, as well as their past as fighting dogs, tends to attract bad people to this breed more than any other. These unscrupulous dog trainers will subject the pit bull to illegal and very cruel torture, starvation, and physical beatings to try and develop a psychopathic personality. And as it would be with any creature, including humans, it is sometimes successful. So it is not in the dog's nature to be aggressive, but in the nature of some humans to torture animals and make them aggressive. Otherwise, when brought up normally, this is a truly great dog that will make a fantastic pet for the family. Number 12. German Shepherd. Here's another dog from, 
Well, Germany, obviously. The German Shepherd. This dog will be familiar to many for its role as a popular police dog. This is due to its very high intelligence, size, and intimidating appearance. But don't let looks deceive you. These are fantastic dogs who love nothing more than working with humans and learning new tricks. <laughs> They are super smart and so require a dedicated owner who is willing to keep their doggy happy by giving it plenty of things to do and a lot of long walks. They are fearless and completely devoted to their owners, so they will guard your property with their lives if they have to. This is a dog for an active owner with plenty of experience, because like all big dogs, if they are mistreated or neglected, they can become bad-tempered and there's a slim possibility they might become dangerous if their bad habits are not corrected. Who are the main people who need to fear the German Shepherd? Well, that would be criminals, as they are used to hunt bad guys and fend off burglars all over the world. Number 11. Belgian Melanoid the Belgian Malinois was originally bred to be a herding dog, but since the mechanization of farming in the 20th century, they have found themselves new roles as police and military dogs, protection dogs, and loving family members. They are known for their high intensity, energy, and athleticism, as well as their high intelligence. <laughs> This is a great dog for an experienced owner, with a large property and plenty of time for walkies, because this is a dog that needs to be on the move as much as possible to burn off some of that excess energy. They also need lots of mental stimulation, and if given all of these important things, they will become one of the most loyal dogs you could ever imagine. They love to play and are known to excel at obedience, tracking, agility, fly ball, herding, showing, schutzhund, and other protection sports. But anyone who wants to own a Malinois must remember that these dogs are mainly bred for guarding and herding. So if they are not well socialized, then they can become aggressive out of shyness or fear. Number 10. American Bulldog the American Bulldog is a member of the Mastiff family of dogs, and it is a descendant of the famous English Bulldog, which is considered an icon of England in the same way the Bald Eagle is an icon of the US. This breed almost went extinct back in the 1940s, but it pulled through and the American Bulldog became recognized as an official breed in 1970. They can weigh up to 120 pounds and have a short, smooth coat, which is either completely white or covered with tan brown red and black patches. It's a stocky and muscular dog with a broad head, and they are bigger and faster than the English Bulldog. They're not known to be the brain boxes of the world, but they are super friendly and chill dogs that are great if you have a young family or other pets. These dogs are just big softies, even though some people think they ought to be afraid of them. They are in fact the sixth most popular dog among patriotic Americans, and the American Bulldog is also the official mascot of many U.S. universities. Number 9. Siberian Husky The Siberian Husky is an extraordinary looking dog famed for its exceptional beauty. But don't be fooled, these are anything but display dogs. They are built to work and are meant for the most testing and difficult conditions. The more challenge there is in life for a husky, the happier they are. For a start, they like to live in freezing conditions and are enthusiastic when it comes to pulling sleds and using their outstanding strength and endless stamina. They are also hyper-intelligent and need constant stimulation. So this is a dog for an owner with a lot of experience and time, as well as one who doesn't live in a place like Alabama. You need a cold climate like Alaska or somewhere, this dog will get uncomfortable and excessive heat due to its thick winter coat. These dogs are tough to train because they are very independent and have the ability to make decisions for themselves about what they think is best. But if you can become a stable and consistent master, they will be an outstanding companion. There's still something wild in huskies and they are known as escape artists who like to wander off and head back into the wilderness. So you need to keep a close eye on them. Number 8. Bull Mastiff 
The bull mastiff is notable for its big head with a wrinkled face. They also have a short and square muzzle with a black nose and hazel eyes. They are gentle and affectionate dogs with an easygoing personality type. They are good with families, but they are ultra protective, so if anyone outside the regular group tries to enter the home, they are likely to be very suspicious at first. They are another dog who is pretty willful and is therefore not always easy to train for a beginner. They need plenty of firm and consistent training from a confident owner to make sure they become the best dogs they can be. They are great with people, including children in your family, but they are not always as generous with other pets. So you might want to think about how happy your pet cat is going to be if you add a bull mastiff to the family. Could be a little on the stressful side for Kitty to deal with this massive dog if it decides it doesn't much care for cats. They also slobber and drool a lot, and their massive size can make them a little clumsy if you have a lot of furniture, and they are big snorers. Like a lot of large dogs, their life expectancy is short, around 8 to 10 years. Number 7. Moscow Watchdog the Moscow Watchdog is a very large dog that stands a little over 2 feet tall and generally weighs between 100 and 150 pounds. They are hardy and well-muscled, and the eyes are small, dark, and round with black eyelids. These big dogs are friendly and good companions within the family, but generally very wary of strangers. They make excellent guard dogs, but it's probably best to tell anyone you know not to just let themselves into your home if you have a Moscow watchdog around. They need a lot of socialization when young, to avoid anxiety later in life when in social situations. which might confuse them and make them turn aggressive. These are active dogs with a lot of energy, but as they are so big, it's best not to put them through running and jumping activity that is too intensive, as this can lead to joint damage and arthritis or hip dysplasia. This is especially true when the dog's bones are young and still forming, and could be damaged in the process by over-vigorous forms of exercise. They definitely need a nice big home to live in and won't be too happy in a small apartment with no yard. Number 6. St. Bernard St. Bernards are massive dogs, known for their role in mountain search and rescue operations. They can weigh up to 180 pounds and stand 30 inches at the shoulder and have a very muscular body. They can have short or long coats and colors including red and white, brown and white, and brindle and white. They have distinctive faces with floppy ears set high on their head, dark and droopy eyes, a wrinkly forehead and jowls, which means this dog is a big drooler. Some also have a dark patch over the eyes. These dogs, being so large, do not fully mature until 2 to 3 years old, which is a lot later than most dogs. They are known for their loving and friendly temperament, and they have very high tolerance and gentleness, making them an ideal dog for families with children. Some people are afraid of St. Bernard's because of the massive size, but their personalities are even bigger. And this is the epitome of the gentle giant. However, if a threat appears against you or your family, a St. Bernard will not hesitate to rush to protect you from it. They are easy to train, and in spite of being big, they are quite careful and delicate around young children. Number 5. Labrador the Labrador is one of the most popular dogs in the world, and is the image of the friendly family pet. But could Labradors be a dog breed to fear? Some trainers have pointed out that while Labradors are generally extremely friendly and easygoing dogs, like any breed there can sometimes be difficult dogs which require extra obedience training. This British dog was originally bred as a gun dog, and since then they have gone on to become the most popular disability assistance dogs in the Western world. They are particularly popular as companions and assistants to people who are blind or autistic. They are known for their obedience, loyalty, and playful composure. They date back to the 19th century, and since then, they have gone on to become what you might call the iPhone of dogs. The absolute best seller, if in doubt, get a Labrador in this rule. 
They have one of the strongest senses of smell of any dog and are often used at airports to detect drug smugglers. They are also escape artists and due to their value and popularity, they are also dogs which are often stolen from their owners and sold on the black market. So it's a good idea to get your dog microchipped just in case. Number 4. Chow 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 Chows are known for their trulicent personalities, and it is true that they can be extremely territorial. They are also considered a dominant breed that likes to take charge. They are known for being fearless, and have often been compared to lions in both looks and personality. But if they are well-trained and they are certain of who is really boss, that means you, then they can be excellent companions who will defend you with their life if anyone threatens you. They are also pretty low energy and like to snooze at their owner's feet more than going running around the house like crazy. They have slightly cat-like personalities in that they are clever and stubborn. And they are also immensely strong and powerful dogs. Many Chow Chows were massacred by the communists in their native China after the communists overthrew the Chinese government. They believed the Chow Chows were associated with Chinese history and old culture, so they slaughtered them. Now they are making a comeback and have become popular throughout the world. Number 3. Akita the Akita is a proud and noble Japanese dog, which was bred as a working dog. They are known for their strength and loyalty, as well as for having immense courage in the face of danger. However, some breeders have warned that Akitas do have a specific aggressive gene that cannot be ignored or trained out entirely. They are quiet dogs, but they are known to have sudden changes of mood going from playful to aggressive. So this is a dog for a very experienced owner, and not one for a family with young children, as they can be unpredictable even at the best of times. So this strong-willed dog can have these tendencies curbed by intense training and obedience classes, along with plenty of socialization early in life. Akitas are good in agility competitions, and this is another way to keep your dog socialized as well as burning off any excess energy. This is a dog that is demanding, territorial, and very very protective, and will look to you for constant reassurances of your controlled leadership in every situation. These dogs can become stressed when they do not feel their owner is in complete control, and will try to take control themselves by becoming aggressive to perceived threats. But if you can master it, this is a very special and fascinating dog breed. Number 2. Doberman the Doberman is one of the greatest dogs in the world, and any fellow Doberman lovers out there will know just what I mean. These dogs might look super tough, but the truth is that they couldn't be softer. They are one of the best dogs to have around young children, and they are particularly fond of them. They are also pretty laid back and love to be indoors, chilling with their owners. In spite of their fairly large size, a Doberman is quite a happy apartment dog. These are the only popular dogs who were specifically bred as personal protection dogs, and this means that a Doberman will sacrifice its own life to save you without even hesitating. They love their masters above all else, and if someone does try to rob you or break into your home, then the soft side of the Doberman will quickly evaporate. These are very fast, very strong dogs with a powerful bite force. They are also ranked as among the most intelligent dog breeds in the world, and this is why they are so popular. The American Doberman is considered more easygoing than its German counterpart, but both are great for a medium-experienced owner. Their bad reputation comes from, once again, some individuals who have trained their Dobermans to be aggressive. But as long as you give this dog what it needs, there's very few better dog breeds than the Doberman when it comes to true companionship, protection, and an awesome family pet. Number 1. Boxer Boxers look tough, but they too suffer from a negative reputation, which is undeserved. They are friendly, but a little highly strong, and have a bottomless pit of energy. This is a dog for those of you who are a little more hyperactive than the average Doberman owner who likes to sleep in every morning with his dog by his side. <laughs> 
A boxer is great if you're the kind of maniac who springs out of bed smiling at 7 a.m. in the morning. Boxers can be aggressive with other boxers, especially those with the same sex. And this is more true with females than males. They are also like elephants in that they never forget and will hold lifelong grudges against other dogs they decide they don't like. These strong-willed and active dogs need a dominant owner who will take them out for long walks every day, at least once per day. They have a lot of energy to burn, and if they don't do it, they can become destructive and unhappy. But if you have the energy, then a boxer can be a great companion to come with you on long runs or bike rides if you are training for an event or just for fitness. What's your favorite breed of dog on our list? Did you know that all kinds of dogs can be amazing companions if they get the right training? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.